Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup release video. The series where I talk about all the new makeup releases and give you my brutally honest opinion on them. So if you're interested in hearing what I think of the new makeup releases, just go ahead and keep watching. So first off, really quick, I just want to talk about my earrings. Because these are the cutest things I've ever seen. The moon looks like a little crystal, which obviously I'm all about. They came in this really cute little bag with moons and stars on them. A handwritten thank you note, which is always a nice touch. Little star stickers, which, hello, these are going on my phone case. And the Etsy shop, I believe, is pronounced Lune Lumina. I will link all her stuff down below in case you're interested. These are adorable, and they were only like $13, $14. So that'll be linked in the description box if you're interested. And I'm going to go ahead and scoot over so that we can get into this week's new releases. So the first release I want to talk about this week is Mango Pepsi. I'm just kidding, but I'm not. These are amazing. <laughs> so in terms of makeup, the first thing I want to mention is actually a restock. The Kaleidos X Angelica Nikvis Club Nebula Palette will be restocking on April 14th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is a palette right here. If you didn't get this and you were thinking about it, buy it. This is a majority of what I have on my eyes right now, with the exception of a few purple mattes that I took from the Lilac You A Lot palette. But I love this palette. I was going for something subtle. I don't know what happened, I blacked out, and all of a sudden I'm a galactic space fairy again. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I love this thing, so it will be restocking if you were interested in that. So the first new release I'm gonna talk about is the new Milk Cosmetics Mary Jane Collection. Mel, we get it. We get it. You guys smoke. It's okay. You can move on to something else. So this collection includes a palette Inspired by the dense tones found in cannabis smoke and the luster of crystal coated buds. Glitter pots. Oh, it's a new product for them. You're like way too late on the glitter train melt. It left the station like two years ago. So the eyeshadow palette is a very cool toned, gray, smoky, light tan. It's not my style. I'm kind of over the whole we all smoke weed, let's make it cool thing. If you do, that's fine. That's your thing. It's not mine. The palette just looks kind of dull. I don't know. It's not for me. The glitter pots look kind of cool. It doesn't have a price on them. <laughs> the first comment I see is we get it, you smoke weed. Yeah, Mel, we got it. We got it. Move on to something else. Makeup Revolution has come out with Friends Collection number three. So this is a huge collection. It looks like there are two eyeshadow palettes, three eyeshadow palettes. What? A lobster mirror. Oh, there's five eyeshadow palettes. I'm sorry, there's five eyeshadow palettes. Um, a lobster mirror, cosmetics bag, blending sponges, sheet masks, mini setting spray, and there are sets for each of the characters, Rachel, Phoebe, and Monica, lip gloss, and a central perk set. Okay. Um... The collection looks really cute. I'm not a huge fan of Friends. I've seen it a couple times, but I'm not like die hard for this for the show. The mirror is cute. It's a little bulky, I think, for a handheld mirror. The sponges are really cute with the little designs imprinted on them. If you're a huge fan of the show, this could be a really cute collector set for you. But I think the gift sets are cute. If you had like a friend who was really into the show, this would be a cute gift, but I'm not a huge fan of the show. This is more of like a nostalgic collector's piece. 
and that is available now if you were interested. So Fenty Beauty has released the Gloss Bomb Dip. Uh, the gloss that we love, now I want to clip it on packaging. You can easily clip it on your clothes, belt, or wallet for peachy nude glossy lips in just a few finger taps. <sighs> so I think I'm going to get canceled for this. I don't like this one bit. Not to mention, now is probably the absolute worst time to come out with a lip gloss that you're gonna take with you when you leave the house and dip your fingers in it, put it on your mouth, and then dip your fingers in it again, put it back on your mouth. We're kinda in the middle of like a pandemic, so if you're out and about at a store or somewhere and you've been touching stuff, you probably shouldn't be dipping into a product with your fingers and then putting it right in your mouth. Just a thought. I mean, this has probably been great a couple years ago when the gloss bombs first came out, but I don't get it. I don't know who's gonna clip a lip gloss to their belt. I don't. But it's Fenty, so I'm sure people are gonna love it. No shade, I just don't think it's the right time for this. Maybe before the world fell apart, but... So there's that, and these are available now for $19 each. They also released uh, two new shades in their cream gloss bombs. They have the shade Bubble Binge and Cupcake In. These are cute. I have not tried the gloss bombs. I actually have one. <laughs> And I haven't tried it yet because I'm saving it for a video, but these are cute. They're $29 for a set. They are... Are they minis? I don't think they're minis. So that's not bad. $29 for two full-size lip glosses. They are available now if you are interested in that. Um... Desi Perkins has announced her skincare line. It's going to be called Desi Skin. The photos for this are stunning. She looks amazing. I believe she showed her first product as well. So the first launch is going to be... <laughs> The Claro Que Si Serum. First of all, the name, genius. I love that. But it is a glow serum. Um, it will be available April 8th online at Desi Skin. It doesn't have a price, so I don't know exactly what price point this line is going to be in. But it looks nice. Congratulations to Desi for releasing her skincare line. Hourglass has jumped on the cream blush train with... New blush sticks. They will be available in six shades on April 6th on their website. Um, they have a good shade range. There's a really bright red, a deep burgundy, some peachier shades, and I like a bubblegum pink. These look cute. I haven't tried much from Hourglass. I think I have one of their Vanish Stick highlighters, so uh, Hourglass is a bit of a pricier brand. They don't have a price on here listed either, but these will be available on the 6th. So let's talk about this thing. <sighs> what the actual hell is this? Um, Milani has released the Gone Glamping Collection. It's an eyeshadow palette in the shape of a van. So the eyeshadow palette will be $19.99, includes six mattes and six shimmers, if you can get past the fact that it is shaped like a van. Um, it's alright, it's pretty much a neutral palette with a pop of a tealy bluish green. Uh, I've never tried Milani eyeshadows. And this is not going to be the first thing I try from them. That's for sure. I don't know who approved this. Who thought this was cute? 
There will also be Gilded Shadow Sticks, four shades for $6.99 each. Coming soon. Oh, available now. Um, cool. There's that. So Rare Beauty has revealed their new primer. It's the Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. A cushiony gel that smooths away the look of pores, boosts and extends wear of makeup, blah, blah, blah. Available April 5th on their website. Um, Rare Beauty is just not a brand that catches my attention at all whatsoever. Nothing against Selena Gomez, but the reviews on everything for her brand were just really mixed. A lot of people didn't like a lot of stuff. I've heard the only thing that I really think people loved was the concealer. So that will be available April 5th if you were interested. Tatcha has a few new products available. It looks like there's a powder brush. $88. Features an ergonomically designed, naturally antibacterial wood handle, 24 karat gold ferrule, and individually razor trimmed synthetic bristles for varied lengths to better hug the contours of the face. Includes a box for $88. It better include a new face for $88. Jesus. And the deep cleanse in a limited edition jumbo sized for $62. I'm very obviously not Tatcha's desired customer because I would never in my life spend $88 on a brush. Ever. I don't care how good it is, how nice it is, if you slap gold on it, put it in a pretty box, I would not. Not a chance. So that's available now if you want to spend $88 on a brush. One Size Beauty has released their new complexion product. This is the Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. Comes in 32 shades and it'll be $33 for Buttery smooth, buildable, medium to full coverage powder foundation, multi-use formula, soft matte finish, up to a 12 hour wear. So this one will be available April 9th. It looks like it has really good coverage from the photos. The packaging kinda bothers me because like half of it is on the top part and half of it is on the bottom part. So when you open it, it bothers me. It's bothering my perfectionism. But shade range looks pretty nice from what I can tell. Could go a little bit deeper, but it is 32 shades, so maybe this is just a bad picture. It's not showing just how deep it goes. But these will be available on April 9th again on their website and Sephora. Givenchy has released new blushes. These are loose powder blushes, and these will be available in four different colors. The packaging is kind of cute. There are four shades in each compact. I don't know how you would really use that without them all kind of just getting mixed together or it being a mess when you open it and try to get one shade out or I guess you're just supposed to mix them all together. It looks a little messy. Does it have a price? <laughs> I don't see a price here. There will also be new marble lip balms and glosses in gold, silver, and bronze. Who the hell is checking for a gold, silver, and bronze lip gloss? I don't see a price, but they are Givenchy, so expect the worst. So this one is kind of close to my heart. Uh, Morphe Brushes has come out with a round two of their Lisa Frank collection. So when I was in elementary school, everything had to be Lisa Frank. The book bag, the lunchbox, the folders, the trapper keeper, the pencils, the stickers. I was a Lisa Frank fiend. I still have a Lisa Frank, no, one second.
I'm a grown woman. These are the kitty cats that were on my lunchbox, and I had a hunter teddy bear. And I will a thousand percent buy any Lisa Frank notebook that comes out for back to school. Shamelessly. I have mixed feelings about this. I wish Lisa Frank would have collaborated with any brand other than Morphe. Now, I know they did their startup thing and they took a lot of people's money, but that's a whole separate issue. Um, if Lisa Frank would have collaborated with almost any other brand, listen, Colourpop x Lisa Frank, where do I send my routing number for my bank account? Take my money. Oh my, a Colourpop and Lisa Frank collection? I can see it now. I would have purchased like the PR set. I would have wanted every single piece. They would have included stickers. I could see all of it. I wish they would have made that happen, but since it was Morphe, I'm not a huge fan of Morphe. I've never tried their products quality wise. I can't speak to the brand, but they're messy. They've got a lot of issues, a lot of controversy. I did see the Lisa Frank palette in store at Ulta and I I probably would have picked up the brushes or the sponges but I just don't know how I feel about Morphe and they use an existing eyeshadow palette and just slap the Lisa Frank picture on the front like that's cheating so the second round collection will include two new lip crayon trios the paint it playful and paint it neutral so these just look like lip crayons in brightly colored pencil form the packaging is really cute. The boxes are adorable. This again is like a collector's item. If I would have purchased anything from the first set, I probably would have just displayed it. I wouldn't have even used it. But again, I wish it were any brand other than Morphe except Jeffree Star. But any brand, almost any brand other than Morphe. So as much as Lisa Frank runs deep in my soul, I don't think I'll be picking these up either. They will be $22 and they are available now if you're interested. Trust me, it hurts my heart not to buy something Lisa Frank, but it's just not for me. Hip Dot has collaborated with Hello Kitty. It's not a hot sauce this time. Um, it's cute. There's an eyeshadow palette, lip gloss duo, kitty eyes, eyeliner, a heart sponge. The sponge is adorable. Um, the eyeshadow palette is... doesn't really strike me as Hello Kitty colored. It's a little bright and saturated for Hello Kitty. I definitely picture more pastel, baby pinks, light purples. Uh, there's a lip gloss duo. It's double-ended. And a cute makeup bag. And the full collection will be $74. This is already available. Elf Cosmetics has collaborated with Jen Adkin. Now, she's the founder of, I believe, Way is how you pronounce it, which is a hair product. It looks like two different palettes, and these are like all-in-one palettes with four eyeshadows, one sunkissed bronzer, one a sheer matte blush, and one shimmering highlighter. Um... I'm not a huge fan of eyeshadows and face products together in one palette because you are greatly limiting who can buy each palette by putting face say face products in it. There is a lighter palette and a deeper palette, but what if you wanted the eyeshadows from one but the face products don't work for your complexion? There is a hair and brow pomade. Hair and brow. Are you supposed to like lay your edges with this thing? I guess it has a little comb. Uh, Mist Me Hydrating Skin Mist is coconut scented, hydrates skin and refreshes makeup. Zero effort liners, cream to powder pencil glides on effortlessly. Um, swipe smudge or smolder in jet black and brown to earth <laughs> that's a cute name 
and there are some sets. These will be available April 5th. It's just a really neutral collection. This might be for someone who doesn't have a lot of makeup and they just want kind of like a go-to all-in-one face, eyes, everything you needed in one place kind of palette. It's all really affordable. It is e.l.f. The palettes are $14 each, but you are getting three face products and eyeshadows. Um, it's cute. It's not for me. I don't need another neutral palette. Um, in indie news, and this I'm reading from Indie Makeup Spotlight, that is an Instagram run by Amy Loves Makeup. Uh, Lethal Cosmetics has revealed their new Glitch Multichrome Liquid Eyeliners. These look beautiful. They will be 21 to 24 euros each. They will be available April 10th at 1 p.m. It looks like there are seven different shades. These look beautiful. I am kind of just dipping my toes into the world of indie brands. They look beautiful. The lighter shades, the, like the purple and the greeny colors, and that really deep blue to purple. These look really, really pretty. So if you are interested in multi-chrome eyeliners, these again will be available on April 10th. This I just saw today. This is available now from Winky Lux. Uh, Neapolitan inspired tri-colored duo includes the Neapolitan Balm and the Neapolitan Gloss. So, the concept, in theory, really, really cute. Especially coming up for summer ice cream themes. The ice cream in these promo pictures is so very obviously mashed potatoes, it hurts. Um, the slices look like beef jerky, but aside from the promo photos... Now, in theory, the gloss is adorable. You got the chocolate on the bottom, the vanilla in the middle, the strawberry on the top, and when you use that gloss one time, all of those colors are gonna mix together and it's gonna look disgusting. Just saying. They look really cute. The packaging has little uh, ice creams on it. The lip swatches of the gloss just look very pink, but I have a feeling they're not dipping down into the brown. The balm looks cute. Winky Lux is a little more of an expensive drugstore brand. I was looking at them at Target the other day and I'm like, you know you're at the drugstore, right? But these will be $18 each. Um. They're cute in theory, functionality-wise, that gloss is just gonna look gross after you start to use it, but these are available now if you are interested. So this isn't makeup, it's nail polish, but this is the new Magic Duo Book of Spells Nail Treatment from Lights Lacquer. Lights Lacquer is Kathleen Light's brand, in case you don't know. I'm a huge fan of Kathleen Light's. She's probably one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. I love a lot of her stuff. Her collections look so cute. Every time she releases something, I watch her release video. The packaging on this is adorable. I love the box. It's got the little crystals, the little potion bottle. This is beautiful. I love it. She's big into crystals and astrology and all that stuff. So this includes a magic strengthener to help grow, prevent stain and discoloration, excuse, excused, <laughs> infused with keratin and calcium to stimulate nail growth and a nourishing elixir, hydrates and strengthens, repairs, peeling, prevents cracking, and fills in unsightly ridges. So these, I believe, are already available, and it doesn't have a price here. $30 shipping? There's a comment that says, I can't justify $30 shipping. I really hope it's not $30 shipping. I know she started this brand by herself from scratch after what happened with uh, KL Polish. I really hope it's not $30 shipping. So I don't wear nail polish because of my job. I'm not allowed to have any sort of anything on my nails, not even a clear coat of any sort, but I might 
be interested in this. My nails always look horrible. I work at a warehouse. I'm constantly smashing my nails, breaking them off. I can't keep nails to save my life. So if these would help, I might actually be interested in this. I do have to look into that shipping thing because if it's $30 shipping, girl. But these look cute. The packaging is adorable and these are already available on their website. So there's that if you were interested. So I did just want to go back and mention this. So I'm a horrible person. I completely forgot to mention Samantha March's collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics in a video inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I know. I suck. This is her round two collaboration with Ofra. I believe this is called the Belongs To Collection and it's inspired by like a little journal because she is an author. There's the Life's a Draft Mini Mix Palette with eight eyeshadows uh, and three face products. The bronzer and the blush are half of the duos from her first collaboration and the highlighter is a whole new shade. And there is also the Sam Squad Lip Trio with three shimmering glosses. This looks really, really cute. I'm pretty sure this sold out day one on both Ofra and Ulta. So at this point, they're no longer available to my knowledge. I know I didn't mention them last week. It's far too late. These are sold out. But I do believe she mentioned in her videos that they are trying to restock as soon as possible. So if they are available, I will definitely link them in the description box below. I can't believe I forgot to mention this. I remembered at work. And it was just way too late to go back and add it into the video. So that was it for this week's new makeup release video. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, I would encourage you to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and consider coming back for some more content. Bye.